In this video, I'm going to share with you a single formula that will repeat the rows multiple times, but this time we don't have a single column, we have multiple columns. And I will show you the single formula that will repeat the row based on given repetition. So even if I just change this 10 to let's say 3, so this will give me the 3 repetition. Let's say I want 10 mango, so this will generate me 10 mango rows. So now for the do, let's develop this formula step by step. The first thing we need to use by row function to just combine all of these columns into a single column. So I will use by row function. For the by row function, my input array or range in this case start from A to, to C. I will remove the end reference. Maybe we have more data set. And for the lambda function, I will define the name as x and I will use text join function. For the text join, my delimiter is comma. Let's say I'm choosing the comma. And for the ignore parameter, I will choose false. I don't want to skip any of the column or any of the cell if they are blank. And for the text, I will just define x. I will close the bracket for text join, lambda, by row, hit enter, and this will generate a result for us. Now you can see there is a blank, but don't worry about this one. Now, what we need to do, we just need to repeat this text. So for the repeat function, we will just apply REPT repeat. For the repeat function, text to repeat this whole is about text and how many numbers of repetition you want. So I will close this helper suggestion and I will select from D to two D. I will remove the end reference, but make sure this start from D to two D. So this must be start from A to two C. So if the starting position is changed, they will give you an error for you. Now I will close the bracket, but before closing the bracket for the repeat function, I will just type end percent here and pipe symbol end percent. And now we will close the bracket, hit enter. This will give us the result, but oh, this is only for the first row. We want to Build the result for these row as well. So in Google Sheet, when you enter in the formula and it's not spilling, you just need to click here, Control Shift Enter, and apply the array formula. Now, if you just hit Enter, it will give you all of the rows. So you can see what we need to do. We just need to split by pipe so that we can get a row. So we will apply split function here for the split function what is my text so this hall is our text i will remove the one bracket of array and the delimiter in this case i use pipe simple and i will close the bracket and hit enter and this will generate data with multiple columns give all of the result so you can see it's give all of the result in multiple columns now the last thing not the last thing but the Thing is we need to convert all of these data into a single column and then again we will split to get multiple columns so what we need to do we need to use two column function here so this is also available in google sheet and we will use two column function and for the ignore parameter i will use three in the last video i show you what is the ignore parameter so if you use three they will remove the blank as well as the error and scan by columns, we will make it false because this will make first column, second column, third column. We just want row by row. So we will make scan by column false, close the bracket, hit enter. And this will give us all of the result, but in a single column. Now the last thing again, we need to just split all of these result. So what we need to do, we use again the split function here, split. And where is your text? This whole is our text, okay? and the delimiter in this case is a comma and we will close the bracket hit enter and this will give us the required result now of course if you want to make header dynamic you can use a vstack function vstack and where is your range one some upper range one is the first three cells and the second or this whole array we will close the bracket for mistake, hit enter, and this will give us a dynamic header. If you want the formatting, you just need to click format painter, select all of the three, and this will apply the format painter. I hope you like this video. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel so that I can make more video for you. Thank you so much.